Finally, four years later, Spain is sending a flamenco entry to Eurovision. And I am so happy about it. Hi guys, and if you're new to my channel, hi again. My name is Imma and I make videos about Eurovision. So if you like that kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe down below. In today's video, I am reacting to the entry of Spain for Eurovision 2023, which is EAEA by Blanca Paloma. The first seconds in which she sings in a very hypnotizing way, while you can see her silhouette against the light, totally catch the viewer's attention due to her vocal skills and the curiosity to find out whose voice this is. After that, we found out that the voice belongs to Blanca Paloma, who appears in the middle of a hallway made of red fringes. Many hands come through this fringes, clapping at the rhythm of the music, which is a buleria, one of the many flamenco subgenres. This is my favorite part of the performance because it looks amazing and it is worth 800 points from the televote. Blanca Paloma had already said as a clue for the Eurofans that in the cover art of her song, there was a clue about the staging. This clue that no one was able to figure out ended up being the shawl her grandma Carmen is wearing in the photo. Blanca Paloma explains that to come up with this hallway made of fringes, she took inspiration from that shawl as a representation of the feeling of coziness that she felt in her grandma's arms when hugging her. This is also reflected in the lyrics of the song, when it says que mi pecho hay abrigo, abriguito pa tu pena, which would be in my arms there's protection, protection from your sorrow, or something similar in English. The figure of her grandma Carmen is very important for Blanca Paloma because she was the one who instilled in her everything about flamenco. After that beginning, we can see how the hallway made of fringes ends up in a circle of fringes and in the middle of it, Blanca Paloma meets the dancers, who she calls las mujeres, the women, with whom, according to her own words, she does a ritual of invocation, trends, catharsis, in which they connect with their ancestors, the strength and the legacy they left them. After that ritual, she comes out of the circle totally empowered, and you can see that in every single gesture she does. She's also very elegant in her movements at the same time. I want to emphasize the gesture she does of shooting an arrow, a reminiscence of her last year's entry, Secreto de Agua, which is very well integrated with this new entry. With that arrow, she seems to set on fire the cycle of the invocation ritual, thanks to the amazing lighting. With all of this, we are getting ready for the final part of the performance. In this final part, she meets the women again, and these women are still doing the invocation ritual and surrounding and protecting Blanca Paloma, who gets to finalize the ritual through a very long note with a camera shot that starts from above and goes down slowly while she sings that note to show us finally the hands of Blanca Paloma closing itself. This gesture also symbolizes the end of the invocation ritual. This is the definition of a pack. I mean, having a good song, a good staging, good outfits, good choreography, and good vocals. You can send this to Eurovision without changing a single thing. The studio version of this song was my second option of the Benidorm Fest. My favorite entry was Mi Familia by Fusa Nocta. I love flamenco, if you can tell. But I had zero doubts about the live version of Ea Ea. I knew that the vocal skills of Blanca Paloma were going to elevate the song 
as well as the staging, because before working full-time as a singer, she has previously worked as a stage designer. So she knows a lot about all of this. I could talk about this entry endlessly, but I think I have already talked enough. So now let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, so this video can reach more people. And also don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And also subscribe because we are so close to 1000 subscribers and it would mean the world to me. So subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!